This video is a quick glimpse into how to effectively communicate to your dog. Howdy, I'm Al the Dog Trainer. Welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to me helping you raise a happy and reliable dog. So if you find this video useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stay up to date with everything that I've got going on, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So in this next segment, what you're gonna be watching me do is demonstrate with Paco, a very young Doberman, how I coordinate myself using a leash, the dog's food, the movement of my body, and of course, voice commands as I'm explaining to my client the process. I hope this video is useful, so here we go. Pressure, it's very simple to understand it. So pressure is pressure on, the dog does the thing that you want, and then pressure off. So if you wanted to tell this dog to get on the bed, you pressurize it, and then when the dog fully does the thing that you want it to do, which is four feet on the bed, you depressurize. Okay. The way you reward with pressure is you can come in with your hand and you can pet the dog. Different pets do different things. The purpose of this exercise is to calm the dog. So your petting should be calming style, but each dog and the relation with a human is different. If you want the dog to come off, you do the same thing. You grab that knot, pressure on. The dog fully does the thing you want, mm -hmm. pressure off, okay. on. And look how it's nice and steady and smooth all the way through. The dog gets on and it goes slack right there. I think the mistake that people routinely make is that as humans, we anticipate things and we depressurize early. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, if you do a really good job of depressurizing late, then that actually defines the boundary of the thing you want significantly better. So one more time. Get down to the knot, on, point the knot in the direction you want the dog to go, slack it, on, point the knot in the direction you want the dog to go, and then slack. Okay. Okay. The next language is scent. I'm not going to demonstrate it yet. We're gonna, I'm going to come back to that one at the very end, but scent is super simple. Dogs have a very powerful nose, so if they like the scent, they will move towards the source. Mm -hmm. But there's a couple of problems with scent. We should not let the dog see the source of the scent before they've done the work. And two, if they smell the source of the scent for too many repetitions, then they will only do it when they smell the scent. Mm -hmm. So those are traps and you have to work your way out of those traps, but they're very useful in the beginning. Okay, what's the next language? Motion. Mm -hmm. Whatever moves the fastest gets the attention or whatever moves first also gets the attention. So we're going to lead with our left. So say that with me, I lead with my left. So if we're gonna construct a sentence, pressure, motion, slack. It could also be scent motion, right? So here we go, pressure, leading with my left leg, get the dog fully on there and slack, okay? All right. What's next? Sound. Mm -hmm. This one's real important because this is the one that we want. So sound, you actually speak last. Okay. So like if you're thinking like you got these four languages, pressure, scent, motion, and sound, the sound would be the last thing that the dog experiences before it actually did the thing that the pressure, the scent, and the motion were telling the dog to do. So we're gonna call this free, and we're gonna call this go to your bed. And I'm gonna say it at the last possible moment before the dog does what I want. Pressure, motion, free, slack. Pressure, motion, go to your bed, slack. Okay. okay, look, that's detailed. You don't have to be perfect at, by any stretch of the imagination, but the more in the beginning that you are orderly like that, it makes you predictable and it makes it easy for the dog to understand what you're saying to do. So how could this information be useful for you? Do you use a similar process or do you do something altogether different? I would love to know. Be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know all about that, okay? Well, hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Talk to you later.